And we are back with our final night of trivia for this month. And these final two rounds of questions are going to be about films and music. And here we go. This. Round five, the movies, Hollywood, the silver screen, the big show. Number one, what, which, which fictional book character was featured in more films than any other? Which fictional book character has featured in more films than any other? Number two, what was the first feature length animated movie ever released in the United States? Number three, Prince Humperdinck is the main antagonist of which 1987 fantasy film? Number four, at, 2020, at the 2020 Oscars, which South Korean film took home four awards, including Best Picture? And finally, number five, in The Karate Kid, what was the name of the dojo where the boys that bullied Daniel LaRusso trained? Here we go with the answers. Which fictional book character is featured in more films than any other? Sherlock Holmes. Makes sense. What was the first feature-length animated movie ever released in the United States? That was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The earliest full-length animated film was actually called The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. I believe it was a German-produced film, and that came out in 1926. And there were some others between that and Snow White, but this was the first American one. That's the one that people tend to think about now. Number three, Prince Humperdinck is the main antagonist of which 1987 fantasy film? The Princess Bride. Number four, the 20, uh, there's a slide missing here, but there's the answer, it's uh, Parasite. Uh, the South Korean film uh, took home four Oscars, including Best Picture. It was very notable because I believe that's the first time a non-English language film has won Best Picture at the Oscars. And I've been told by many people I need to watch it. I haven't yet, I will someday. And the dojo where uh, the boys that bullied Daniel LaRusso train in the Karate Kid is Cobra Kai. All right, so we're just cruising right here into our sixth and final round. This one is about music. Here we go. Which famous rock band began life as the new Yardbirds? And I'm going to give you a hint right now. It's not the Yardbirds. Number two, what band was the first to ever appear on MTV with their song Video Killed the Radio Star? Number three, what is the highest selling album of all time with over 120 million copies shipped worldwide? Number four, which of the Beatles was dyslexic? Number five, which pop superstar played 27 instruments on their debut album? It's just like an insane number of instruments that this person can play. Here we go. What was the famous rock band that started out as the New York Birds? Led Zeppelin. Number two. The band to first appear on MTV with Video Killed the Radio Star was The Buggles. Number three, the highest selling album of all time is Thriller by Michael Jackson. Probably not a big shock there. Number four, which of the Beatles was dyslexic? It's sort of a multiple choice question. The answer is John Lennon. And finally, the pop superstar who played 27 instruments on their debut album was Prince. And that is it. Six rounds of trivia in three nights. And hope you had fun. Would love to see what uh, your scores were in the comments. And if you'll excuse me now, I'm going to go and change this shirt. And we will be back with more trivia down the line. Um, our next one will actually be in October. It's going to be Haunted Spooky Trivia. So that should be fun. We'll see you then. Bye.